my mother, my daughter, peace, and making money. It might be like crazy. What is this young man saying? I grew up with my mother who was a single mother, and I watched her through a lot of trials. She struggled to um, raise us up for children. And every step of the way, she said, we should always remember education is key, education is the power, and education is the tool you need to be anything you want to be in life. So I grew up emphasizing on education as a weapon to survive. I, at my teenage age, had a desire to always turn the little I had into so much. And at a point in time, you know, when landlords came knocking and saying, Madame, where's the rent? And we had to say she's not at home. If she's listening, I'm very sorry to say this. Um, I always felt I wanted to make sure that one day I'll put a smile on her face. And um, I struggled so much. I got to the university. I read economics, uh, master's level, banking and finance master's level, PhD. And I got out of school. And in Sokoto, Nigeria, where I'm from, I realized that I needed to find, look for what I love doing and my passion was teaching, and I needed to make money, and I also needed to impact on my community. So I thought of Brilliant Footsteps Academy. I thought of an idea to make money, impact on my community, and do what I loved doing, impacting knowledge and teaching. So I went around and I realized that our people had two drives in life up in northern Nigeria. The schooling system is such that we have the formal education and the Islamic education. But I realized that there were issues in the way the Islamic education was moving and um, if we were to continue in that way, we may have people that will grow up and may not know what violence is not supposed to be. So I conceived of an idea to integrate both formal and Islamic education together such that I would have an educational facility in Brilliant Footsteps Academy where it would be a one-stop shop where parents could bring their children and have a formal education for, for them and also um, contribute by making them have that Islamic education because of the pains of shuttling from schools in the morning, dropping your children, in the evening take them to the Islamic schools and so on. And we tried to see how we could have children who in the future would be ambassadors of peace, would be people that would not be prone to violence, and people that we could control through an Islamic knowledge that emphasizes on peace, non-violence, and a far away attitude to extremism. Because even if we roll out the guns today, even if we have military prowess, even if we do everything to battle extremism, we may win the war now. But in 30 years to come, things may still come if we don't work on the ideology of our people. So at Billion Footsteps Academy, we conceived this idea to see how we could promote futuristic peace such that recruits for extremist ideas would not come up. And we started in 2012 with about um, 23 teachers and 68 pupils. Today we have 105 staff, 500 students, and we pay over $12,000 a month. Out of our teachers, 45% of them are women, and I am making money to take care of my mother. I'm giving my daughter a good education, and I have money to put food on the table, and a landlord doesn't have to knock my door to make my daughter ask, Daddy, what is happening? I am also activating my passion to teach, and I am contributing to community, maybe not now, but in the future, by appealing, winning the hearts and the interests of our people by appealing to their minds. Entrepreneurship is key. Entrepreneurship is unifying. 1,200 of us in this hall, for one thing, we want to make money, but we should make that money by creating a social 
impact. Entrepreneurship cuts through religious divides, cuts through ethnic sentiment, and most of all, it binds us together. I remember receiving a phone call, and I'll end with this, um, in December 2012, and they said um, it was from the Tony Olumalu Foundation, and that I was to be awarded for the best graduating economic student, and I was given about $500,000 from Mr. Olumalu. And since then, I've been part of the network. In May 11, I was at the White House to attend the Emerging Global Entrepreneur Summit, and today I'm in Kenya, and this is what I used to tell my children, that you could grow up, my children in my school, that you could grow up to be good human beings, and Islam is all about contributing to society and not extremism. And you could be a medical doctor, you could be an engineer, and you could stand for what you want without losing a tap on who you are um, as a Muslim. At Billion Footsteps Academy, we teach today for peace tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum.